tips to improve your customer loyalty. Statistics show that, on average, U.S. companies lose half of their customers every five years. It's true that acquiring new customers will help your business grow. However, your current customers are the lifeblood of your business and keeping them happy should be your highest priority. Here are a few ways to make sure your customers keep coming back. Asterisk Understand Lost Customers Many business owners mistakenly believe that customers choose to patronize other companies solely because of better prices. While pricing can be a concern, customers often head to the competition then they don't feel valued. The change of lifestyle may have also created a situation where customers no longer need your product. By staying in touch with their needs, you might be able to adjust your offering to continue servicing them. Asterisk Know your customer's top priority. Maybe it's reliability or speed or cost. Your company should know your clientele's number one priority and consistently deliver it. Remember, customers' desires change frequently, so ask yourself this question every six months. Asterisk Acknowledge the lifetime value of customers. The lifetime value of your customers is the income you would gain if a customer stayed with you as long as they could possibly buy your product or service. For example, the lifetime value of a customer employing a financial advisor could be several decades and could span several generations. Treat the parents well and you could win the children's business. Asterisk Create a positive first impression. Good first impressions tend to generate loyal customers, and you get only one chance to make a positive first impression. Appearance is important. The exterior and interior of your business should be neat and clean. Asterisk Listen to the customer. Employees should listen actively to customers. Reassure your customers that you genuinely want to help them. Customers will judge your business based on the politeness, empathy, effort and honesty of your staff. Asterisk Address and resolve complaints quickly and effectively. Inevitably, your employees will encounter unsatisfied customers. Whether they're returning an item or changing the service, customers expect a fair policy. If you cannot offer a resolution immediately, Let the customer know when he or she can expect an answer. Is your online company really serious about internet customer service? When it comes down to it, excellent customer service is pretty much the only way you will convert visitors to customers. You can also increase your reward and improve online sales with excellent customer service. If you are truly serious about offering quality customer service, your best option would be customer service software. With customer service software you can reduce customer service costs and increase your conversion rate at the same time. All the while, you will be making your customers happier, which will lead to more sales and an increase in reward. Customer service software helps small businesses and large businesses alike by offering customer service messenger, support messenger and support messenger. These offer 24-7 customer service to customers and potential customers. They can also allow you track customers online and track consumer behavior online as well. Customer service software can offer live chat help and slash or animated avatar help, animated avatar service, animated avatar support and animated avatar guide. Many people prefer the avatar because it makes them feel more like they are talking to an actual person. Serious quality customer service means a serious customer service solution. Consider customer service software for your online business if you would like to convert visitors to buyers and improve your reward. Turn your customer complaint into a positive. The last thing we want to hear during our work day is complaints from customers. However, it does come with the territory. Here are a few tips on how to turn your customer's complaint into a positive. 1. Listen. When a customer comes to you with a complaint about one of your products or services, listen to them. Listen to what they are telling you, and take notes if at all possible. The number one thing a customer wants when they have a problem is for someone to listen to them. Allow them to vent, let them get it all out. Once they have explained their problem in full, begin to ask any questions you may have to get a full handle on the situation. While you are listening, body language is very important. Make sure you maintain eye contact. This sends your customer a message that you are taking them seriously. 2. Be empathetic. When a customer is done explaining their problem, show sincerity by telling them that you understand how they feel. Apologize on behalf of the company that they feel the way they do, and tell them that you are committed to resolving their issue within the guidelines of your company. 
By becoming defensive in this situation, you are taking the bad situation and making it worse. By having an understanding of where your customer is coming from on the situation, and speaking in a calm tone of voice, you can clearly defuse the situation. You don't by any means want your customer to become angry and cause a scene. 3. Offer a solution. We have all heard the expression the customer is always right. I don't necessarily agree with this, but it is important to work toward finding a solution, even if the customer is in the wrong. For instance, you might try meeting them halfway. You will know whether or not your customer is a repeat offender, and you can handle the situation accordingly. For customers who have a legitimate complaint, it is best to rectify the situation right then and there. Whether it is giving them their money back, or replacing their product. Always leave your customers with your business card and tell them if they should ever have a problem again, they should not hesitate to contact you immediately. This will help them regain their confidence in you and your company. The main goal when a customer has a complaint is to not allow the problem to snowball. Your objective should be to defuse the situation and retain your customer. By handling tough situations such as these in a professional manner, you will find your once complaining customers satisfied that you resolved their issue, and a newfound respect for you. This article may be reproduced by anyone at any time, as long as the author's name and reference links are kept intact and active. 6 Tips for Keeping Your Cool When Customers Get Hot 1. Be assertive, not aggressive or passive. My definition of assertion is simple. Say what you mean, mean what you say, and don't be mean when you say it. Let this rule guide your conversations with all customers and you will always be confident, cool, and in control and you'll always be professional. 2. Speak more slowly. You'll be amazed at how much more clearly you can think and how much control and confidence you experience when you consciously slow down your rate of speech. Speak slowly and methodically when your emotional triggers are launched and you'll maintain poise during difficult conversations. 3. Wait 1 to 2 seconds before responding. Responding immediately to difficult or tactical customers could result in you saying something you'll later regret. Before you respond, take a deep breath, wait at least two seconds, and think about the best response and the best approach. For take a time out. When you sense that your buttons have been pushed, take a break. You can't tell the customer you need to put him on hold while you review a file, or whatever excuse sounds good at the time. The point is to get away from the customer for a few seconds so you can regroup. 5. Use positive self-talk. I'm going to sound like Dr. Phil on this one, but I'm quite serious. Instead of saying to yourself, I don't get paid enough to put up with this underscore 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 underscore. Say something more positive like this guy really needs my help. Thinking more positively helps you respond more positively and professionally. Negative thoughts lead to negative words and it spirals into a very negative situation. 6. Show your power before you use it. Often, the subtle suggestion of your power is far more effective than the outright use of your power. As a customer service professional you may have the power to terminate a phone call. You could say to your customers, if you don't stop yelling, I will terminate this call. But, believe it or not, you are far more powerful if you say, I want to help you, but when you yell and cut me off, you make it difficult for me to work with you. The latter statement demonstrates your power and your message most definitely gets across. The former statement uses up all of your ammunition and won't usually diffuse an irate customer. These incredibly simple tips will position you to keep your cool when customers get hot.